Hey, acoustic guitar forum and uh, YouTube uh, subscriber friends. Uh, Mythos1979 here doing yet another new guitar day uh, review slash demo. I wanted to open with some music for a change. So uh, anyway, um, I recently acquired this guitar. Uh, this is a uh, Rainsong OM1000NS guitar. It's carbon fiber. It's very lightweight. It's impervious to the elements. Uh, heat, cold, hum humidity, dryness won't affect it. Uh, it's, it's hard to ding. Pretty solid guitar. So basically what had happened was uh, my wife and I are we're coming into summer up here in New Hampshire, coming into spring actually and then summer, and we're hoping to get back out there playing live, and we decided to uh, uh, do some busking this year, and I really didn't have a guitar that I wanted to take out uh, busking with me, so I started looking around uh, for something in, in a carbon fiber guitar. Now, I've owned many carbon fiber guitars in the past. I've owned five different emeralds. I've owned a rain song before. I've owned a couple of uh, Journey OF660s. All of them were great guitars. All of them have their pluses and minuses. But I wanted something that wasn't super expensive, you know, real everyday workman's kind of guitar. Now this particular model, which they don't make anymore, Rainsong does not make anymore, um, is kind of one of their lower budget models that they uh, they made uh, for the working musician. At least that's what, uh, that's what I learned in my uh, research for the model. And uh, the way you can tell that on this guitar, uh, the, the top is a gloss finish, but it has a very kind of mottled finish under it. Looks, it looks unfinished. You can see like a little seam right there that goes all the way around. And then it, it's kind of hard to see with the, with the reflective nature of the light here. But um, if you see it in person, or even if you look at some of the photos in my in my new guitar day post, you can see that under the right light, it just it doesn't look that good. It doesn't look horrible, but it, it looks unfinished. I guess is the best thing you can say about it. Uh, the back and sides are a carbon fiber weave, and it's satin. And quite honestly, I wish the entire guitar was satin instead of. Uh, the shiny top. Uh, that wouldn't have bothered me anyway. Uh, same with the carbon weave on the on the on the top there. So uh, anyway, you know, it's not the greatest looking guitar in the world because of that, in my opinion. You may like it, um, but this guitar isn't about that anyway. So it's a, a OM size body. It's on the thin side, so it's about four just over four, like I think four and an eight, four and a quarter tops in the depth there and less up there, obviously. Uh, it does have a short scale neck. It's a 24.9 inch scale neck, but it joins at the 12th fret. So that pushes the bridge farther down on the body. Uh, and what this makes for is an extremely lightweight. It's, it's under four pounds. I think it's like three and a half pounds tops. It's an extremely lightweight guitar. And, and it's a thin body and it's a short scale, so it's extremely comfortable on the body. You know, your, your, your arm isn't way out there. It's just, it's comfortable to play. Um, because, it's, uh, because it's carbon fiber, like I said, it's impervious to anything environmental or ding, so it's a great thing to take out busking. You know, some kid throws a rock at your guitar and hits it. It's not going to do anything. Uh, you know, you take it to a bar and a drunk knocks it over on its stand and hits the thing. It's not going to not going to ding it all up. Um, so that's good. It's got a one and a three quarter inch nut, which is very comfortable. The string spacing is it feels closer to two and a quarter than two and three sixteenths to me. Um, they don't list that anywhere, but I'm assuming it's somewhere. It's either two and a quarter or it's a little bit less than that. Very comfortable for finger style. It's not too wide. It's not too narrow. It does have a pickup system on board. Um, the, the later models, which this one is, has an LR Bags Element system on it, which has a three band EQ, lows, mids, and highs. And then it has a, a gain notch. It also has a phase switch. 
It has an onboard tuner and it has notch. So, and then the battery compartment's right there. You just press it and it pops out really easy to, to, to replace the battery on it as well. Um, acoustically, the guitar sounds pretty good. Um, when I first started playing it, I was a little, mm, uh, you know, it seemed to lack low end. Uh, but a lot of that was because I was very used to playing my uh, Froggy Bottom guitar, uh, which is a very lush, full sound. So uh, what I dis discovered with this is once I really started laying into it, especially with a, a pick, it really comes alive. But one of the things I love about this, and I mentioned this in my new Guitar Day post and an update, was, you know, you can't overdrive this guitar. I mean, you can really, really lay into it and it really comes alive and really starts to sound great. Um, what was a revelation on this guitar was just how fantastic it sounded when amplified. And I will demo, demo that shortly. So, um, yeah, I was quite surprised. Basically, I was looking for something for busking. So my wife and I are going to do some busking this year. We're going to ease into playing live in public again and out in the open air. Busking, we figure, is better than in a, you know, enclosed in small enclosed spaces at this point. So I wanted something that was uh, small, comfortable, lightweight, uh, and really could stand up to the rigors of being hauled around in a gig bag and taken out in public and not really worry about, you know, dinging something up or, you know, worry about the environment um, messing with it. You know, one thing great about Carbon 5 guitars is you know, no matter what the temperature is outside, hot, cold, whatever the humidity level is, uh, the guitar will not go out of tune. You know, it, it stays in tune because there's no wood for, for to shrink or contract. So uh, it, it, it's nice. It stays nice. I mean, it'll go out of tune if you're banging the hell out of it with your pick, obviously, just from string stretching and whatnot. But not a whole heck of a lot, if you, as long as your strings are relatively new. Uh, so yeah, other than that, um, one other feature of the, the neck on this is kind of a U-shaped neck. This is the N2 neck. It's called the NS, but that stands for, uh, the S stands for short scale. It joins at the, it's a 24.9 inch, but it joins at the 12th fret, which pushes the bridge back. I think I already, I already said that. The tuners are great. They're, they're very... They're 18 to 1 ratio, so, you know, it's a very very smooth and very gradual transition. The tuner, onboard tuner, works really well uh, with it. It does come with a front guitar strap, um, and then, uh, of course, it has, uh, you know, the jack on the back. I, I elect to put on, um, I put on these offset Music Nomad uh, things so I can use my strap locks on it and still have access to the jack. That's a personal preference thing. So anyway, um, I just played a little bit of Sister Golden Hair acoustically so you can see what it what it sounds like. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit more acoustically with the pick, and I'm going to play a little bit of finger style, and then I'm going to uh, turn on the amp. So... Journeys uh, faithfully there is a song we do. Uh, finger style. <laughs>
Forever Young. If you heard a couple of bangs right in the middle of that, right there is my picture window, which has a bird feeder on it, which the squirrels think is theirs, so they like to jump up. So, And of course, right in the middle of my recording, they want to annoy me. Everything I could do not to turn around and scream at them. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you could hear that fairly well. Um, obviously, I'm recording on just my cell phone, so not the greatest of, of sound. You know, if you're listening with headphones or a nice speaker, it'll be better. Okay, so that's that's uh, acoustically, and like I say, when I played this, it, it, you know, at first it was like, eh, uh, you know, just. But then as I acclimated to it, it's like, okay, this is it's more than good enough for busking, and especially when you really, really dig into it, uh, you know, really strum hard uh, on this, you know, what you're going to have to do when you're playing outside busking. Anyway, it sounds fine, you know, it's plenty full and whatnot. However. Amplified, this guitar was, you know, like I said, a, a revelation. Now, I've got everything set uh, completely flat on this, and I've got, I'm running straight into my Bose S1 system, and everything is set flat on that. And I'm going to turn it up and, and play a little bit of what I just played, uh, both those songs. <laughs> Hopefully that translates good to the uh, the the cell phone uh, microphone, but boy, that to me sounds fantastic. And that's with everything flat, and that's not even halfway up on here. So that's that's pretty gosh darn lot loud right there, and and so you can really get a lot of volume out of this, you know, and you know from the Bose S1, which isn't known for its huge volume, but if you've got a preamp signal, it sounds it sounds great. Uh, and then if you want to play finger style, then you just, you know, you can bump down, uh, bump down the lows a little bit, bump up the highs a little bit to compensate. If you don't play, I don't play with nails. I just play with the meat of my fingers. So it tends, uh, amplified tends to sound kind of muddy and muffled, uh, unless I bump the highs and cut the lows. So here's that. I started I still needed to bump the lows down a little bit bump the highs a little more um, I love having onboard controls I know a lot of people don't like barn door uh, but when you're a gigging musician onboard uh, ability to control your tone if you don't have a sound man I mean if you're playing on a stage you've got a sound guy you may not need one but you know for for us uh, us poor do it all yourself kind of guys. It's really helpful to have onboard EQ, onboard gain, and onboard notch to be able to uh, compensate on the fly for anything you might do. So, anyhow, I don't want to drone on too long. And the other thing, too, is as far as I'm concerned, especially in a carbon fiber guitar, a barn door system does not uh, does not look that bad anyway. So the LR bags element, the newer models they made before they discontinued this model had the LR bags element in it. The older models had the Fishman prefix system in it. I actually owned one of these in the Al Petaway uh, limited edition model, which was the reddish two tone guitar that had the Fishman prefix in it. And I didn't I didn't like, that was one of the reasons I got rid of the guitar is I did not like that uh, system at all. Uh, but this one sounds really, really good. And this is just the element. 
So you, uh, you can't buy this guitar new anymore. The only way you can get this is to custom, uh, well, they do sell it in their vintage series, which has the uh, Sitka spruce top that's uh, melded with carbon fiber. So it's still a carbon fiber guitar, but it actually has a thin wood veneer in there. Um, that'll actually come, they, they make that in this, this model, the OM1000NS, but they're also up around $3,500 street price. Uh, give Ted over at uh, LA Guitars uh, a call and he can hook you up with one of those. He can also hook you up with a, um, a custom model. Ream Song will do custom features like they offer what they call the Nashville series, which is also uh, the Sitka spruce top, but it does it in a nice burst finish. They don't offer this model stock, but they will do a, a, a custom order on that <clears throat> if you've got the money. But, um, you know, you can find there's plenty of rain songs out there used. The good thing about carbon fiber is, is they last forever. You know, they really, they just go and go and go. So you can, you find them on reverb all the time. I picked this one up on reverb, got it for a pretty good price. Uh, they usually go around 1500 give or take. Um, you know, I've seen them as low as 12, 12, 1250. I've seen them as high as, you know, 16, 17, depends on the condition and the availability. So keep your eyes to the ground and, and you'll find one. So yeah, uh, in summary, basically just a, a great guitar for busking, which is what we got it for, for gigging. Uh, it's a good backup guitar. This guitar will, will uh, if I'm going to an open mic or something, I will certainly take this. I'll busk with it. If I'm gigging somewhere and playing with one of my, uh, with my Cole Clark Angel, uh, then this will sit in the you know stay in the trunk as a uh, backup guitar just in case. Yeah, can't go wrong. Camping, something to take to the beach on vacation. You need to throw it up in the uh, overhead or goes into the cargo storage area. Uh, a great little guitar. Very impressed. Uh, highly recommended. Lightweight, built like a tank. Good to go. All right. So anyway, uh, everybody have a, a, a great time out there. We're coming into summer and uh, get out there and start playing if you're so inclined. Everybody get your shots and stay safe. Be well, my friends. See you the next time. Bye.